I'm Anna Mears, I'm from the Port Adelaide Cycling Club, I'm 30 years of age and I represent Cycling Australia. My first campaign in Melbourne in 2004 was very special, in front of a home crowd, I won my first World Championship crown. 2011 was the big year for me, I won Triple Crown with the Kieran Sprint and uh, Team Sprint. Oh, I could list them on and on and on, I'll go with those two. The very first one. 500 meter world title crown, that's what really kicked off my career. Um, you know, I rode 34.3 seconds to take it out in front of the home crowd. Um, but I would also put my first ever world sprint championship crown up there, my only world sprint championship crown up there in 2012, 2011. Um, you know, I had to come over Victoria Pendleton in the semi final, Simona Kripkaita in the final. Um, it was a big breakthrough for me, not just physically but mentally, on that race. I think that it actually gets harder mentally more so than harder physically because I've got such a, a foundation of training history under me and the strength base that I've got. Um, the most difficult part of that with getting older is, is dealing with the little niggles that come along with you know wear and tear on the body and, and that sometimes can make it mentally more difficult to have to um, push through those tough days of training to have to really go and do the little tiny details, paying attention to the small things that you've got to do to ensure that you can have the big performances at the end of the day. Um, but it's that lure of the competition, that lure of the World Championships of the Olympic Games, that potential medal win um, that pushes me through you know, some really hot summer days, some really cold and dreary winter days, um, just for the, the, the imagery that I have in my head of standing on that podium. It's a lot of things um, in combination. Um, I don't, I, I hold very seriously this, the commitment of a lot of people that I work with to enable me to be the athlete that I am. So I, in essence, work as hard as I do because I don't want to let them down. Um, I also have made a lot of sacrifices. My husband's made a lot of sacrifices. My family have made a lot of sacrifices for me to be able to do what I do so successfully. And I, I do not want to see the time wasted. I want to make sure that I get a reward that in my mind and in, in my um, outlook is just for the effort that I've put in. Notice since I've come back into the international scene at World Cup level, you know, Vicky's face, Xuan Guo's face, Simona Kripakaita, there are about eight girls uh, whose faces are no longer there and those faces made international competition normal for me. You know, I'd see them and I'd start to feel the nerves, I'd start to feel the anticipation of competition and what, what level of racing they were going to bring to the table and therefore how much I was going to have to lift to be in contention with it. So there are a lot of new faces that have come through um, and it's actually been quite challenging but fun at the same time to learn the different traits and patterns and strengths and weaknesses of some of the new girls um, that I'm going to be contesting um, you know, for, for crowns in the next couple of years. And it's not going to be a light task. I absolutely know that it's not going to be a light task. I'm dealing with the whole notion of being older um, and I've learned that age is really just, it's nothing. It's you win or lose based on your preparation and that's where it comes down to for me. I, it's on my work, e work ethic on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm really excited about the, uh, the number of quality riders coming through in the Australian sprint women's scene. Um, obviously, Steph Morton's up there, you know, with the win in the Kieran at the national championships. But it's not surprising to me, and it's, it surprises me that other people are surprised by her performance because she's been up there. You know, she placed better in the Kieran at the Manchester World Cup than I did. She's really had some great performances on the board, and, and I hope that she gets recognition for that because she does deserve it. Um, you can't forget Carly McCulloch, she's out injured for the season as well, so I certainly expect that she's going to come back. Um, you know, all guns are blazing, <laughs> looking to try and get back into the team sprint and, and also into those individual events. But what I'm really excited about and what I saw at the National Championships here only a couple of weeks ago, um, I'm so excited to see riders like Caitlin Ward um, stepping up, running 11-2 as a second year senior. Courtney Field in the under-19 division, she's only a first year. Um, you know, to ride the times that she did, to, that she did, to ride it with the technique that she did, to be able to start to show that she's understanding the tactics of the sprinting game is really exciting to see. Um, against Sheridan Spark as well, who comes from Queensland and under the tutelage of um, my first coach, Ken Tucker. So um, I'm really uh, happy to see that the depth is growing, that the opportunity is growing and that the hands of Australian women sprinting is uh, in, in good, bright outlook for the future. 
My karaoke voice is not good and it's not much better than my dancing, but I think I would be less embarrassed by my dancing skills than my attempt to sing. So, so you think you can dance. Um, probably pulling up to a set of stoplights, unclipping with one foot and falling the other way. That was a long time ago. Haven't done that recently. Oh, I have to say my husband, Mark. I can't say anyone else. Um, yeah, my husband, Mark. <laughs> probably something, would be something off of the Pink album. Um, I really love her music for the attitude that she brings with the lyric and the power in the music. Love lasagna, fan of lasagna, can't go past it. Always paint my nails with the Aussie flags for a big international competition. Uh, I've never been without my tiger mat for a senior competition at any level and I pretty much pack my bag for competition day like I do my handbag. Everything has a position and a place and if it's not there it's chaos. <laughs> Sleep in, late lunch with Mark, um, yeah, walk Brucey around the block, get into the garden, um, actually probably do a bit of housework to the music, um, might hang out with some friends, go catch a movie and dinner by the beach maybe.